morning guys welcome to today's video today is friday the coveted friday the day i have the most fun because we always get like fast food and and chill and be together as a family on friday nights my favorite family night of all I hope they did that i do everything i did before again but i'm not sick so <laughs> Poor, poor Daisy is feeling left alone and left out because God, Sophie's been feeling sick and not been doing as much with her. So she's not coming down to the barn? Is that what you're saying? Yes, because then I'd have to run around chasing Molly yeah. for a and so, while. So the thing about Sophie is that when she does get sick, she can't eat. She can't eat when she rides. She can't eat. Like There's all these things that happen with Sophie. Yeah, no, I can eat whatever. Yeah, when I'm sick, I can eat. But she can't eat, so she's I hardly eat. eating. I just, I can drink everything but water, my favorite drink. Yeah, so I bought her popsicles, she's eating those, but it makes you more weak, and so she doesn't have the energy that she does normally when she, I Sam's the same. I started myself yesterday, and I was barely yeah, eating Yeah, they, they don't eat, they hardly eat when they're sick. But, that is not the point of today. The point of today is, wait, where are you going? Gabby left us. The point of today is that somebody in our family has a birthday today. It's somebody's birthday. It's somebody's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Molly's. Molly. Molly. Come here, Molly. <laughs> Ruby's like, what do you mean, Molly? It's my birthday. <laughs> Her birthday's in May. Molly, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Molly. Molly. Yeah. She's like, I only have eyes for my owner. <laughs> it's your birthday. Molly's a year old today. A year ago today, her owner messaged me, her breeder, and said, hey, we had puppies last night, seven, five girls, two boys, and I said, all right, reserve me a girl. A week Hi. later, we went, and I surprised Gabby. You if you guys didn't see twice. that video, yeah, I surprised her twice. If you didn't see that video, you should see it. People do three with their fingers like this, and it's this. People do this for three. Wait, no, I got taught that that was three. Same. Not that. I do this for three. What do you do for three? Why are we doing three? I don't know. I don't know. Sophia started it. Okay. Stay on focus, Sophia. Go like this. Regardless, today is her first birthday. How do you do one? <laughs> good. How do you good? Some people do that. Oh, that's weird. I know. All right. So let's, t today we are going to celebrate Miss Molly, the Border Collie. It's your birthday. Well. The snow's gone. Except for all that. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, Molly. It's your birthday. You Sorry, Molly, Ruby. Uh-oh. I can't get in. That's odd. I know, but who did that? Hi, Pen. Hi, Penny Pickle. You've been looking cute. Oh, I forgot her medicine. All right, so oddly, this was against the door. Ugh. All right, so Penny Pickle has done her cleanse. She's done it. So we'll see how her eyes do. She definitely has a little bit of shavings in there. She does get shavings in there, but they're still not too bad. There you go, Penny Pickle. Uh, and Sophie's ribbons are on the ground. What the heck? It's like there was a party in here last night and we didn't even know about it. Someone was probably haunting us. She, Sophie thinks Stella was haunting us and she knocked the ribbons down. Why do you think she knocked the ribbons down? I don't know. But you know what's weird about that? What? Every morning when I wake up and I lay in my bed for a little while and I think and I like reflect and I pray and I talk to God the best I can. And this morning, I just happened to stare at the ribbons that I won in my first and last horse show. So if you guys didn't see it, uh, a few vlogs back, a couple of years ago, was it a couple of years ago or last year? I beat mom. A couple of years ago. I beat mom. A couple of years ago, I entered my very first horse show. You guys know I'm not like awesome at riding. And I entered a horse show, not completely prepared, but I did it because I wanted to show that Stella, the underdog, the horse that everybody thought we should have got rid of I wanted to show how amazing that she was and we went in a horse show and I was against Sophie and a bunch of other people and I came reserve champion I came reserve champion I, I was champion Sophie came champion it's true she beat me how rude like would you go into a show and beat your mother yes. or would you let her win I would beat you. yeah everybody would beat okay so I mean I wasn't trying I mean, even to even if I tried to lose I would win <laughs> 
Okay, Gabby, don't say that. People be hating on you. Um, so Finn won because Finn, um, he like, he's really good with polls. Yeah, like, there were other adults in the class too, just saying. Anyways, I felt like God was with me in that, in that uh, horse show, but I was drawn to my ribbons this morning. I wonder what that means. I was drawn to my ribbons today. Suddenly, Sophie's ribbons were on the ground, oddly. All right, let's play spot the kitty. Can you spot the kitty? I can climb up there. Yes, you are not allowed to climb up there. Oh, he's over there. There's one, and there's two. He looks like a Garfield cat, That's and there's Lexi. There. Yeah. Going with her man. Going with her man. Aww. It's her brother. Yeah, well, they're They're in love. In animal world. Aw, look. Isn't that the most beautiful thing? No, he just doesn't have his crap together, so she has to take care of him. She's his morning coffee. She's taking care of him. She's cleaning him, getting him ready for the day. All right, it's Molly's birthday, which means everybody has to take turns throwing her toy for her. Okay. Molly, it's your birthday. It's all about you. Woo! Okay, well, I can't video that till I clean up all the horse poop in here. There's a lot of horse poop in the arena. Apparently, a lot of, apparently there really was a party down here last night. I have this policy within myself that when God is trying to tell me something, he always gives me three signs. And I see something once, or something is brought to my attention once, I always take note of it. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. But then, if it's brought to my attention a second time, then I'm like, hmm, I really should pay attention. So if the ribbons come to me. Hey, you left the wrong one out first. Oh, did I? Uh-oh. Oh, I did a mistake. Ha ha, see, they're different with me. She was like, she was gonna go she, oh yeah, she was gonna go someplace else. But look at my girl, she's good for me. What are you doing, are you gonna pee? What's the problem? You're done. <laughs> Away you go. Go slow, good girl. Oh, you are a mess. Good girl going so slow. What a fabulous pony. Here, I have treats. Penny, Penny, I have treats. You come in? This nice soft ground has been really good for their feet since they're trim. Good girl. You come in? If we can work today, we'll work today. Good girl, yeah. Oh. I just want to get the boogers out. She does not like me getting the boogers out. One more step. One more step. Wait, don't throw it until she's done. All right, go ahead, Penny Pickle. I should have brushed you. Oh, good girl. She wants to still come. <laughs> Yes, yes, go around this, look, come on, go around that, around it, around it, around it, around it, come on, come on, come on, around it, we're going to do this today, come on, come on, Penny Pickle, come on, around, around, come on, yes, good girl, yes, yes, oh, you're such a precious girl. I know, I feel so bad like I'm bragging, but you guys don't even understand how much I love this horse. How much this horse has accepted me and taken me and agreed to be a part of me. That's such a huge thing for me. Oh, yes. Oh, look at your fur. Look at her tail. My girl is not a pretty girl. <laughs> My girl is always a mess. It's true, you guys. She is always a mess. If she can be a mess, like, Pretty much since we got her, she's had a blanket on. Now that she doesn't, I notice she's really, really messy, but that's okay. I love her anyway. Sometimes the most eccentric, crazy looking person out there has the most to teach you. So go ahead, you guys, embrace the crazy, embrace the eccentric, and just love. Um, but what I was saying before was that if ribbons are brought to my attention one more time before the end of today, then I'll take it as a sign and I will try and figure out what God is trying to tell me. It is plus seven in the barn today. 
which is about 45 degrees, 43, 43 degrees in the barn and I am sweating. Like when it gets really, really cold and you get used to that and then it just gets a little bit warm, you feel hot. Okay, so Gabby is, Gabby is saying that when she gets hurt or she gets sick, life goes on, she ignores it, she complains a little but just gets back to it. And I'm the same as that. And Sam and Sophie literally can't function in life when they have even like the tiniest any issue. Uh, so that leads me to ask you guys, how are you when you're when you're sick or when you're hurt? Do you have a high pain tolerance, a high tolerance for illness? I have the freaking red mark still. Yeah, Gabby did get. You want to see it? All right, show them. It's not also, so it's a scar, but but when I rode, it's right where I bend my ankle, yeah. and my heel down. And I did like a really long So right now we're we're comparing illnesses. She's saying, all right, fine. It's not an illness. All right, an injury. Gabby yeah, got an injury last summer. From the pressure washer. From the pressure washer. You're not going to believe it, what she actually was able to accomplish with the pressure washer. With it. Only she could injure herself with it, she said. Fall. Okay, don't fall in poop. Yeah. See? All right, so there it's is barely the noticeable scar. right now, but like, yeah, I don't want that there. She ripped the skin right off, had a massive scab, and no, you guys didn't even know about it probably. No, cut. Cut, the yeah. Scab, it didn't really scab over because I put um, a banding on it for when I rode, so my sock Shut wouldn't under. stick to it. Pinky scar. You have a pinky scar? Yes. What I happened? Cut. When I carved pumpkins right there. Mm. It was a tiny little thing. Yeah. Still hurts when I press on it. And people don't know about it because she doesn't really talk and about I, when she's hurt or sick because she doesn't really feel it that much. I ever talk about sick. Yeah, no, we good. everybody knows when Sophie and Sam are sick. I'm so we're trying to get our school done before the sun really comes up and it gets really warm. And yeah, the girls want to go on a bike ride, so we're gonna see. Not a bike ride, a run. If we go on a run, I'm taking Gracie because she's not sore and. No, down the down the other road. Oh. We have to drive on that trail. I want to see if the trail is. Oh, you want to go for a ride, for a run. Okay, so Gabby, what? If it's too many, then we'll just go along that and we'll run. Okay, what is on the agenda for today? What are you doing? We're taking Molly for a run. What is in your schoolwork today? What are you doing right now besides eating Sophie's popsicle? Uh, mine too. Share. Um. How come you only mention share when it's about sharing with you? What book did you just finish, Gabby? And you ate my cake, so. You can zip it. Share, Gabby. <laughs> That's what you're sharing with me. That oh, is. Yeah. Okay. So, A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer. 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 No, it's Kemmerer. But it says Kemmerer. But I Her used real name's Kemmerer. <laughs> and then they added the er. <laughs> Yeah, just like me. Always got to be right. Okay. So, this is a trilogy she's reading. The first one was called A Curse So Dark and Lonely. And it is the Beauty and the Beast trilogy based on the Beauty and the Beast story. How was it? Did you like it? Does it suck? It's good. It's good? So, do you have the third book already? Yeah, I'm reading that. You're already reading it? The good part about Beast is it is no one wants to share with you. Nobody wants to share with you. Okay, so, what book are you doing a book report on today? I forget its name. Go get it. So today we were talking about how... I don't know what... How did we start talking about how... 473 pages. How... Why did we start talking about how long Dad and I have been together? Do you remember? I don't know. You just kind of came to us and were like, Dad and I have been married for a long time. Dad, yeah. Sam and I have been married for 14 years and we've been together for 23 years. And... And Gabby was like... <sighs> How come you've only been married for 14 years? And I said, because I actually had no interest in getting married. I didn't want to get married. I thought it would be great to just live together and, and be together. And then you got pregnant with me. And then, when I was, and then we decided to have a baby. And then when I was seven months pregnant with, with Gabby, I changed my mind. And I said, Sam, I want to get married. I want her to have like a real, like, I want her to have a traditional family. And I want her to have your last name. And I just, I just felt like I needed to be I married. And so... So I was seven months pregnant when we got married, and Sam planned the whole entire months wedding. Older than your marriage. We had planned it. No, you are two months younger than our marriage. No, because you were pregnant with me. Yeah, but you weren't born. So I still count. I was a living creature inside of you. I'm older than your marriage. 
Oh, how old are you? 14. No, how old are you today? 13. And how old is my marriage today? 14. 14. <laughs> my oh, marriage is older than you. But anyway, you. just wait. My point is that Sam, a man, planned the whole wedding for me, did all the work, paid for everything. It was amazing. You it got was married beautiful. At his work. <laughs> we got yeah, we got married at his work. It was so nice. We got married by a Reverend Heaven. <laughs> so Sophie read Camilla Oh, that's the author. So Sophie read the Unicorn Quest and she's doing a book report on this. Are you reading the second book? What is the second book? Is that it? The you the year secrets the secret, in the stone. secret in the stone all right was it a good and book the author is Camila bench benko bench all right was it a good book camilla i love the name camilla benko. if your name is camilla just know yeah. i love that name i think it's beautiful well hello there gracie <laughs> hello you're a little dirty i think it's time for a brush also i cleaned all the poo out of the arena how did it get poopy again Hey, well, what happened? Them not to poop. Not in the arena. You're supposed to poop outside. Well, they poop their horses. Yeah, they do. Oh, Hi, I girl. Hi, girlfriend. <laughs>you guys I'll be flexing Penny's got feathers I think this is the first horse I've ever had that had a little bit of feathers is aren't they so pretty not everybody likes a good feather Gabby hates feathers yeah Gabby cuts them off but look hers go way up here okay I don't know anything about feathers but they're so pretty look at those feet Basically, I was working with Penny and she pretty much told me that she needed some other stuff. She really wanted to be shed. That was her goal for today. So she just stands right completely still here while I shed her. Isn't that crazy? Goodbye, winter fur. Goodbye, winter hair. All right. I'm staying here the longest.
Gracie's like, I'll just climb in. <laughs> Her weight looks a little better. Gracie's fat. She needs to have four extra steps. We're all fat. It's been a winter of fat. Come on, Penny. No, no, no. In the bucket. In the bucket. Come on. Come on. Oh, good girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, gosh. I'm getting three noses here. Come on, Penny. Go. Come on. Step I bet you Penny is a seasoned bucket stepper. Whoa! What the heck? My girl can go in the bucket! Come on, brave girl. All four feet. Come on. Come on, a little bit more. Come on. My girl can go in the bucket. Get. Come on, no, you gotta get in. Come on. Come on, that's a girl. All four feet. Come on, yes. Come on. Come on. You got it. Come on. <laughs> She's trapped. She's trapped. <laughs> Come on. She's like, what's happening with those back feet? Come on. Get those feet in the bucket. Come on, you might have to step out before you can. Come on. Come on. <laughs> almost, almost. You got it, Pen. Come on. Oh, so close. Very good try. Yeah, good try. So when I bought Penny, they, the lady told me, her owner told me she's a super experienced horse. She's been there, done everything. And by everything, I mean like massive challenges. Like she told me stories and this horse has done a lot. So I shouldn't be surprised if she can climb in a bucket, but I mean, I'm proud. Today's the day that I wanted to really work with our mares and have fun and go for a walk, but they're not able to go for a walk yet. Only Gracie is able. And it's her dogs. Like, I wanted to do so much today. But Sylvie has this new addiction. And basically, she sells stuff. And her dad is exactly the same way. So every once in a while, she goes through her toys. And she finds something that she doesn't want anymore. And she lists it. And she sells it. And she does it all by herself. So she is selling an iPad mini. And we're headed to the store. She's gonna. She did all of it. She talked to the lady. She has the iPad. She did all of it herself. And we're gonna go. She's gonna get her money, and then we're gonna come back and work some more, or go for a walk, or do something fun. Can't wait till I take Penny for a, a spin. Like I told you guys, I have like. Can't wait to ride her. Like really ride her down that road now. Okay, you're ready to I go. I like forgot that. Us. Yeah, she's getting in the car and I'm like, do you have the iPad you're selling? And she's like, mm, no. So, yeah, do you have it now? It's on my list. Okay. All right, so we are waiting to meet the lady for Sophie's iPad that she's selling. And Gabby went into the grocery store for a minute and Miss Molly is so sad on her birthday. She wants to go with Gabby. She has only eyes for Gabby. Molly, it's okay. It's okay. She'll be back, I promise. She's coming back. Oh, you can't go in there, sadly. <laughs> She's like, I know where she went. Just let me out. I'll find her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Look at it for you, Molly. Molly just had a big piece of bacon. Happy birthday, Molly. A little baggie of treats. Share with her friends. Yeah. Aww. Oh, a little baggie. I want to see the cheese. Oh, <laughs> they're all like, make it for me. Look at that one. Aww, it's adorable. Molly. <laughs> She's like, get away from my treats. They're all for me. Little, small little cupcake. Aww. Yellow. And they have two pink spots. Aww. Ruby. But look at that. That's for Daisy. That's for Molly. Mo that's for Ma Molly. This is funny. I so much trouble. Doing Why is there pink think. on this though? There's that's so the only one that has. They didn't have anything else. They didn't have no big <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh we know. Don't worry. There's one for you. You're going to have to break it and let them all have a piece. Molly. She knows. She hey, knows the whole. I'm yeah. trying to get a picture. Wait. Wait, come here. <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> Let me 
just happened, she says. Please. What, the whole thing? <laughs> there you go. Here. That's your birthday. It's your birthday. She doesn't know how to eat it. You bite it. Are you so thankful that God brought her into our life? Yeah. Me too. Girl. Pow. Pow. Well, pow. Well, pow. That was big. Why did he get a big one? Special for her birthday. It's hard to break. She loves it though. All right. See, see if Daisy it? remembers her My trick. Is jealous now. Down. Well, okay. Ruby. Yeah. Hey. Ruby, nice. Hello. Birthday, she remembers. <laughs> All right, we are here at the barn with Chino Bambino. Yeah. She knows the, the horse tonight. Yeah. Both of our trainers love Chino. So every time she rides another horse, they're like, well, what happened to Chino? <laughs> right? Chino yeah, Chino does have a break for sure. Today was the day where I suffered a storm. What made you decide to ride Chino? Because they only like Gino. <laughs> they only like Gino. Now don't get me wrong, they love Storm. They love him. This stuff came off. That's because I was shedding him. I was oh. shedding it and shedding it, and it mainly came off. Oh, good. So it's just old hair that hasn't shed off. Debbie's still going on about the, the saddle pad that she has to wear. Fiona recommended it to us, and the chiropractor likes it. Gabby does not, but she has to wear it. So I've been like researching the saddle, the saddle pad, and apparently it holds the saddle. It takes all the bounce out of the saddle. It holds the saddle from moving. Like it's supposed to be a really good saddle pad. So I'm all for it. So I was just doing Storm's tail. We're kind of alone here, waiting for Brandon, and and so I decided to shed Storm for a few minutes, and. Finn moved where he was eating and he came and he's watching me. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. It made me feel good because you could tell that he was recognizing me and loving that I was here. Right, Stormy boy? Look how crazy their hair looks in spring. They all be looking rough. All be looking rough. You're looking rough, big guy. Look at the difference of, oh, polish and no polish? Is that the stuff that you're supposed to put on to keep his feet good? No, this is black this polish is just that I'm trying out. I'm trying out the best ones for Trillium. Uh, Jesse got this kind earlier. Gabby's all about making him beautiful. Making him look handsome. You be looking fancy, Chino. Yeah. Don't you know the 